All right, here we are back at the bench. So let's take a look at our old piston and our new piston. That's a substantial difference there. So that should change your game a little bit, help you up hills, help you get going faster. Also, in my experience, is it helps you resale your scooter. So um, all right, so let's go ahead and put our rings on. There's many ways to do it. People like to do it in their own order. Uh, somebody's going to say I'm doing it wrong and I will say somebody else is doing it wrong. It's just all a matter of opinion. As long as they're in there and they're in there correctly, it doesn't matter what order and how you do it. In this particular oil ring, it actually has a flange on the inside. So on this one, you have to put the oil ring on first. And that's just something that I noticed before I did it. So I'm going to put the oil ring in first. So the oil ring is going to go on this wide groove on the way bottom. We're going to work it in there, make sure you don't kink it or bend it and slipped right in. We're going to take one of the other skinnier rings and we're going to put this one right on the bottom of that one. And it will take some finagling. You have to work on it a little bit. Just take your time, do it right. There it's starting to pop right in. And we just want to make sure that we don't warp it or anything, but um, you know, for the most part they're somewhat resilient and there it popped right in the bottom there. So we're going to take our other skinnier spring, or ring, I'm sorry, and we're going to put it right in there too. We're going to work that around and there you can see where that just popped in there and we're going to work it all the way around being gentle as we can but as aggressive as we absolutely have to be. There we go. So that one's in there looking good. And we're going to align these rings in a minute, so don't get ahead of me. The black ring is going to go in the middle slot, so we're going to go ahead and work that in there. There we go. Now we'll just work it around. There we go, popped right into place. And now our silver ring on the top. And that one popped right in place. So here's the most important part. We want to make sure that every groove is separated. See how this silver one has a groove? And let me find the black one to show you. Here's the black one right here. And then the oil ring on the bottom, that also does. So we have to offset all those. So I'm going to find the gap on that oil ring. There it is. Okay. And I want to make sure that it's separated from the gap on the rings that hold the oil ring. So we got to find the bottom one now. We're in good shape there. I'm actually going to slide this bottom one over just a hair, just for peace of mind. Sorry if I'm pulling out a camera, I'm trying to reach over the camera here too. There we go. Slid over just a little bit. Now I'm going to take the oil ring, I'm going to offset it so it's not near another gap. And so we'll put that one there and then we're going to take the top ring and we're going to offset it so it's not by any other gaps either. So there's a gap, there's a gap. So we're going to take this one and just put it right about here and then we're going to move the gap on this bottom set over to give it some space. So now we'll go a little bit more. Okay, so now we have a gap here, we have a gap here, and then our black ring it's over on this side and then we're going to move that just a hair here so just make sure just make sure that none of your gaps are lined up so you have a gap here and the reason is if they're lined up it is going to help oil and air pass through and you won't get as good a compression i also i don't know if this is a thing or not but i also don't like to have any gaps over right here because there's less structural integrity in my opinion so now that we've done that we're going to put the pin in. All right, so now that we have our rings on, we're going to go ahead and get ready to be prepared to put it 
actually on the motor. So I have more room to work on the left side in this scooter. So when I'm putting the final pin in uh, or clip that holds the piston in place, I want to work from the left side. So I'm going to put the pin on the right side. So or I'm sorry, the clip on the right side. So um, I've kind of started it here, but you just grab it and kind of twist it in. It'll probably pop out here, but um, just take your time, work it. It takes time and patience, which is a couple things I don't have, but I'm almost there. There we go. And you just want to find it. You want to make sure that that pin is seated all the way around, or that clip, I keep calling the pin, make sure that's seated all the way around because this is what's going to hold your piston to your connecting rod. So again, I'm going to double check to make sure all my rings aren't, the gaps aren't overlapped and we're in good shape. There's my end. Now what I can do is just take my pin, stick it in there a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in there just enough so I can go drop it on the engine. So while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the gasket off of this so I can pull out my chain tensioner. So this is the old jug that we had. So I'm going to set that off to the side. I have a nice clean workstation here. All right. So one thing that we're going to do at the bench before we get to the scooter is we're going to prep our cylinder jug for initial startup. So when we first start this up, there's no oil flowing to it. So we want to make sure it's safe. So I have just some Lucas assembly lube. You can get this at any parts store. Um, they just sell a lot of places. So I do make sure I clean my finger. I don't want any de debris in there, any crud, anything. So I'm just going to take a clean finger, put a dab on there. I'm just going to coat the inside wall of the cylinder head with the assembly lube. Um, you know, this is a step, in my opinion, that's absolutely crucial because it does not take long on one of these scooters or any engine, as hot as they run, to run without oil, it does not take long to ruin it forever. So if you put this assembly lube in there, then you don't have to worry about anything on your initial startup. When you first start it up, you're protected. So uh, that's the beauty of doing it at your home or in your shop is that you know it's being done right. So at this point, we're ready to get to the scooter and put it all back together.